Now, today's subject is a rather whimsical one. I call it the real news. There's some question today with many people hmm, about trusting uh, the news that you see uh, on the television or the computer screen that you read about in newspapers and magazines. The news, it is called. Yeah. But I suggest that, for the most part, uh, what you are reading are um, the ideas uh, of negative leaders, uh, corrupt politicians, let's say, corporate leaders who have only uh, money interests. They're interested in your money. And politicians who are only interested in controlling you and staying in power. Mm. So the real news would be mm, the actual state of the collective, uh, the collective reality that you might call humanity broadly. Um, your community, less broadly speaking, and you, the human individual, uh, more specifically. Uh, let me say that you can discover the real news <clears throat> as a human individual by, for a few moments, going within Uh, and checking your messages. I am being humorous here, uh, but might I suggest that you have not checked your messages um, in a very long time. Uh, most people, uh, as I said, consider uh, what they see on the news as a reflection of their reality. Mm. But you're getting up to the minute notifications of what's going on in your world from your source. Uh, we call it the ancient wisdom uh, source the ancient wisdom communication stream uh, that includes what I call a telepathic network that <clears throat> links each human individual on your planet uh, with each other, with all, with the collective of humanity this telepathic network within a, a context of uh, this ancient wisdom communication stream uh, provides for you <clears throat> particular uh, snapshots, shall we say, uh, of you within your world uh, and suggests uh, possible interventions you can take uh, to improve your existence. Hmm. In my books, as you may know, we frame this conversation uh, from higher consciousness um, in terms of lessons, issues, and so on, in terms of soul evolution. Mm, so, in this sense, the real news uh, comes as a suggestion, uh, or 
perhaps even a directive from the divine uh, to you personally, uh, allowing you to connect uh, and take in that information. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> this information uh, is not all love and light. It also contains uh, data uh, about uh, your personality, let's say, uh, your behaviors, the type of person you are now. Uh, so yes, it includes love and light, but also uh, the darkness, what we call the negative persona. Uh, if you care to achieve a light trance state, a meditative state, and go within for a few moments, as I suggested, uh, you will begin to receive this information. Hmm. Yes, it often comes in as pleasant waves of <clears throat> good energy, a good vibration, you say. If you take it further, uh, you'll go down to the center of your personal identity and discover things you have to work on, you see, issues. Uh, you'll see where you are at, uh, at that stage of soul evolution that you find yourself uh, in learning these lessons. So the good and the bad, hmm, I invite you to consider tuning in to the real news uh, that is within you. Uh, think of yourself as a, um, an antenna uh, that's picking up that broadcast uh, from your higher centers of awareness. Urgent information uh, is trying to get to you trying to wake you up. I think I'm going to let it go with that and ask that you come visit us again for our next waking moments. <clears throat>